rumours coming out that Kimi Raikkonen could be hanging up his helmet at the end of the season with Sebastian Vettel wanting to move on in his career he could well be forcing out his former teammate at Alpha they are just rumours at this point Raikkonen and obviously he doesn't say a lot anyway hasn't said a lot about it runners that really have the pace to get away with that and even then at the end of the day it's a big risk track position is the most important thing and it's rarely worth sacrificing for a slightly more optimal strategy in the race so I doubt we're going to see anyone trying it I have been wrong before though we certainly do see some risky decisions every now and then, and it's a gamble that's sometimes worth taking. But if it were me in the car, I would want to be on the fastest tyre for my qualifying lap, without a doubt. Hi guys, Brown here, and welcome back to another episode of my F1 2019 career mode. Here today for the Brazilian Grand Prix, and episode 9, episode 20, sorry. Look, look, we've gone through the teens now, we're into episode 20 and the penultimate episode of the season wow it feels like we've been at Toroso for quite a while obviously a lot of youtubers just do daily uploads and I'm just doing two a week so I started this when F1 2019 came out and now it's been out a couple of months so it has dragged on a little bit but hopefully not a lot but into qualifying into Brazil we do our first lap that puts us into P4 um, I think Brazil it's always been it's been a decent track for me and quite strong around it and we desperately 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 need a good result here in Brazil especially after America last time out if you haven't seen that go back and watch that before you see this one drama happening right at the start so i'll leave it at that but we are going on to our first uh, final run rather in q1 we need to get through here and we have to compete 11 so we're safely through into q2 it's just what's going to happen the other way around so those out of Q1 then let's scroll down is Ricardo, Perez, Hulkenberg, Norris and Robert Kibitza so this is us coming to the end of our first run in Q2 we come to line, we cross the line and that was good enough for P4 but we need but we're not going to be staying there long as we skip on to our final run in Q2 you can see we're currently P14 we made a little mistake and we're only improved by a couple of hundreds there and we stay P14 so for it looks like the fourth Sunday in a row it's going to be a long one yet again let's get into the race Where there's a will, well there's a way. And nowhere has that fact been better demonstrated over the years than here at Interlagos. Remember Senna winning while fighting a gearbox that was jammed in sixth? Five Drivers' Championship deciders in a row between 2005 and 2009. And of course, the passion of Brazilian fans packing the grandstands to capacity every year. And they're not about to stop now. It's an unusual anti-clockwise race here at Interlagos, where the Sao Paulo locals are packed into the grandstands at each of the 15 corners around this classic 2.7 mile circuit. Two very fast sections bookend the famous and highly technical sector two, where getting a good run out of Jun Sao into one of the two DRS zones will be the key to any overtaking prospects today. With me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Now, I want to ask you about Lewis Hamilton. They've had a fantastic campaign. It's been a wonderful year, and they come into this weekend's Grand Prix as a fully deserving champion. I agree it's been a truly impressive season, but championship or no, I don't think they'll be gently cruising around to the finish line. In fact, with points no longer a concern, there's a lot less to risk, so we may even see a more aggressive approach. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, 
it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Butler, Kevin Magnussen, and Raikkonen, Albon, Stroll, Grosjean, and Pierre Gasly. They've taken a grid penalty. Brown, Weber, Sebastian Vettel, and Ricardo, Verstappen, Perez, George Russell, and Robert Kubica, Norris, and Nico Hülkenberg completes the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So it's going to be a one-stop race from the soft tyre onto the hards. Hopefully we have a bit more luck into turn one, but we'll have to wait and see as the five red lights come on here in Brazil. It's lights out and away we go. It's Mercedes versus Mercedes down into turn one. Devon Butler doing well was he with penalties down the inside we go. We try to get our teammate round the outside. We're going to try and shove this off the track there. We're right behind him, we've gained a lot of positions there. Maybe four, three, three or four, and now come chasing down there's a harsh trying to get past Evan Butler into turn four couldn't quite do it tried to go around the outside of Albon again that didn't work he just shoved us off again which fair blades when being aggressive if we head through towards the end of the first sector and down the inside we go on Alex Albon a very late dive but a lovely move nonetheless on um, our teammate there to be head through this is a great camera shot there's everyone just flying through um, you would have seen for the for, for the pre-race that a lot of drivers taking penalties the likes of Verstappen Vettel as here comes Lucas Weber on us now the heart up front I believe is Magnussen we fend off Weber and we can maybe just maybe try and get past both of them as they're still side by side there this is great racing between Butler and Magnussen probably the two most aggressive drivers in this career mode and Butler stays ahead for now and I'm kind of licking my lips here thinking we have an opportunity to pass Kevin Magnussen as we head round of course he was our old rival we're going to go for the same dive down the inside that we tried on Albon he shoves us off, he's defended it well, we try and go up the long way around he covers it again, very good drawing by Magnussen, we're going to go down the inside again into this corner and he covers us off round the outside, we're now on the outside and he squeezes us right round the outside and now we're going to do the cut back, go back down his inside but we overcook it and we put a wheel on the grass and now we're going to be carrying so many people's slipstreams as here comes Magnussen, flies back past us there and now Albon's trying to get involved and so is Lucas Weber as we go into turn one and there's contact and Raikkonen's off the track we've gone off the track and Verstappen in the background there is lost in as well this is what happened, this is a replay we make a mistake, past goes Magnussen and nearly past goes there goes Lucas Weber and I try to go for the move on Magnussen at the same time as you can see there Albon went for the same move on me so Albon got squeezed I could, it, there's nothing I could do and here you can see from Albon's perspective he just, just got squeezed out because I weren't expecting him to be there but it happens obviously me and Albon come together again the twice now in two races the third time this season if you go all the way back to Australia and this is what happened to Raikkonen and he just turns back onto the track what is he doing and then that's where Verstappen gets wiped out this is what happened on board Verstappen so he's going for the move on Gasly his teammate he squeezed him out and then he goes for the apex and there's one Kimi Raikkonen there and this is two years in a row that Verstappen's been absolutely vanessed at the first the Senna races 2018 it was it was Ocon 2019 it was Kimi Raikkonen you couldn't have scripted that if you tried and this is Verstappen battling with Lando Norris he has damage to his front wing and he's just dropping like an absolute stone 
as here he comes he's lost out and he's lost out to about three cars there Verstappen just hasn't got the downforce to keep those drivers behind him so here then comes Alwyn trying to make a run somewhere but to be honest what's more happening is that Lucas Weber is all over the back of us again and overtakes us again and we're going to go down the inside of both of them in fact it was us sorry that was in the background not Alex Alwyn would have thought I could do that and not mix myself up with my own teammate apparently I can as Alwyn tries to make it free wide there just about that didn't really work out and he is behind Lucas Weber now and we've just got a push now after um, Devin Butler because of course we were just behind him and Kevin Magnussen so we've just got to get to that point again in this race you can see Sebastian Vettel's on the back of Sergio Perez here comes Al um, Weber back down our inside again we're going to have to defend the outside then the inside of the second part the Senna races and just about stay ahead now but here he comes he's coming under pressure now is Lucas Weber from Alex Albert Albert's going to try and go the long way around his outside also you can see there um, Vettel's gone all the way around the outside of um, Sergio Perez and he's still there and he's done, gone him down the inside that's a great move by Sebastian Vettel that one and now he, he'll be on the charge for Alex Albon and then Lucas Weber and then eventually me because we're not going to keep that prancing horse behind but here he comes now on um, Alex Albon trying to go to his inside Albon chopping him off and then he's, he hasn't got him yet though has Sebastian Vettel I think will get him here heading down the second DRS And now round, right round the outside tries Sebastian Vettel and he's got the job done. Next up now is Lucas Weber and here comes Lucas Weber trying to get past us again here. And he tries to go to our inside. There was so nearly contact there. And Lucas Weber looks to have got the job done here or has he back down the inside we go. But we couldn't quite get past and we get that re-overtake done. So we're going to have to sit behind the German for another lap I'm kind of in a German sandwich here as here comes Sebastian Vettel on us now he pulls up to the inside we're going to, we're going to try and get past Weber and we're going to go right round the outside of Lucas Weber Vettel on the inside Weber has been completely mugged off there we've done him round the outside Vettel's done him down the inside and he's just kind of been in the middle what racing that is and now just covering off if you thought about going to my inside there you could just see and now Vettel and ourselves hopefully can get after Butler but that isn't going to happen as Weber tries to overtake us around the outside we cover him off Vettel has just gone miles off into the distance now you can't even see him as here comes Weber tries to go to the outside heading into turn 4 he's going to go the long way around here we're going to squeeze him out and that's going to be a job done and he's still behind us for now as we skip on and here Lucas Weber comes into the pits to try and get an undercut on us so he can't get it done on the track and he nearly did get it on, done on the track but here he comes again into the pits yeah I think he actually has damage to his front wing I remember when I was actually recording this race there was contact I'm not sure where but I don't think it was that bad as he comes out of the pits now it's a very odd pit in Brazil it's very long he come out and he's actually going to come out in traffic here behind a, a Haas and a Williams and into the pits this is a lap later we come then and hopefully we can come out in front of Lucas Weber because there's some big points to be had today nothing's really drastically gone wrong like Mexico especially like America onto the mediums we go I actually extended the stint in this race 
Jeff gave me an alternate strategy to go into the medium so I thought I might as well did it so we extended the stint from the hard to the medium so we went I think it was about four or five laps extra to go on to the mediums and it's worked out here you can see the gap that we've pulled on Lucas Weber so him pitting earlier getting caught up in that traffic hasn't worked for him and we skip on about five or so laps and look who we've caught the back off everyone Devon Butler this is going to be a battle we've already got past him with absolutely slipstream central past him <laughs> But he's going to be trying to get back past us very quickly. This is a battle that I kind of, when the game came out, I hope I would have most races. And we haven't really had, yeah, we've had the odd battle, but a massive battle. We haven't really had that since Baku as here. Butler comes again, flies past us like we did to him. And I don't think we're going to be able to really take him down inside here, no. So we're going to have to wait for another lap here of this Brazil circuit in Sao Paulo. Or we could maybe get past him here. I think we're just a bit too far back though to do anything. As we skip on a lap, we swap Devon Butler, the dummy. We put one on the grass. We're trying to go the long way around, but he's covered it off. We went a bit too deep there to try and be going around his outside. After we put that wheel on the grass, we skip on another lap again there and here we come again trying to get past Devon Butler this is the battle for P5 I believe and down inside we left it very late there we've got past Devon Butler he might have a look at getting back past now into the second DRS but I think we would get DRS from it as he tries to here tries to go to our outside and now to our inside we had to defend very aggressively there he was tucking onto our slipstream for dear life and here he comes again couldn't quite see there we do stay in front of Devon Butler there just and we skip on another lap again and here he comes again down our inside this time he gets past swaps us a dummy which you know I weren't very happy about and now we're going to have to push and re try and re-overtake him yet again in this race what to battle this is we head through and now we head on to the start finish straight yet again we're closing we're closing we're closing we pull to his inside he squeezed us a bit there Devon Butler has down the inside we go we've got the job done and that is an amazing move on Devon Butler this is in fact the final lap as well so this could well be the final now in the coffin so here he comes trying to re overtake us round the outside it probably be his only last opportunity to do so but he can't do that as rounds the final corner comes Lewis Hamilton to win in Brazil he's so good in Brazil obviously he's here at Ayrton Senna home Grand Prix and now out of the final real corner comes Valtteri Bottas to make it a 1-2 for Mercedes of course Mercedes thinking of getting rid of Bottas but if he keeps putting performances like this they won't Charles Leclerc comes home in P3 Sebastian Vettel a great recovery drive in P4 and we have hung on just about to P5 ahead of Devon Butler who takes home P6 and that is the result we needed because nothing has really gone right since Japan the, we got not we got shocking points in Mexico and then we caused that massive crash in America and nothing has really gone right since that race in Russia. Performance at the Grand Prix. I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it.
So it's a 1 2 4 Mercedes, I think. That's only like the second one, two or something. You can see after the contact earlier on in the race, Verstappen is finished down in last. Roman Grosjean, who I didn't actually realize has got a podium in America, finished down in 19th, so he's been brought back down to reality in that perspective. In the drivers, we're doing all right. We're not really anywhere near Perez, so I think we're not going to be able to beat him going into round 21 and the final round of this season. And, of course, after... The next episode you get to find out if all the rumours I've been saying are true or not in the driver transfers when we kick off season 2 and you get to find out whether I'm staying at Toro Rosso or leaving. I haven't decided yet. Um, but we're doing alright in the constructors. Um, we're just beyond racing point. Let's Amazing go and talk to out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. Some excellent overtaking moves from your former teammate today. Did he learn some of them from you? You and Devon weren't far apart by the end of the race. How evenly matched are you? You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? You're beating all expectations. Would you say we all underestimated you? Appreciate your time. So it was a decent race, I think. Obviously, well, like I said, we needed that result. Um, fifth place as a real kind of um, momentum lifter and a great weight I feel like I've dumped off my shoulders now because Japan weren't that great I kind of feel that Russia didn't go that great either but we did get some good points in Russia so I feel like we haven't really got that good of results since that podium in Italy so fifth place here is very good um the upgrade that we tried to bring to this race failed so we're just going to redo that and that will be our final upgrade of the season we're just going to change some components um, so we have a freshest engine for Abu Dhabi of course we don't really want to take engine penalties there bearing in mind it is the final race the gearbox and engines don't have to go any further after that um, I hope this is pretty much it for this video if you enjoyed hit the like button if you like this kind of content consider subscribing um, but until the final and the finale of this season in Abu Dhabi. Goodbye.